Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Coach Jim Elgin, coach of Pleasant Grove Spartans, the Class 5A runner-up for class for 2014. Go ahead, y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. We'll just we'll kind of go through it as we go through. I, I mean, I mean, I'm not going to tell you anything because you don't know how proud I am of my kids and the effort that our kids put out through the year and the success and the strides that we made for our program. Uh, obviously, we're very excited to be in Super 7 for the first time. Uh, a little disappointed, but it's like I told them, you don't go through life without disappointment. It just makes you a better person. And that's what I like about these guys is, and our team is just that they're great people and they really busted their tail to get here. Question for Coach or Player? Coach, uh, Steve talked about how everybody gets big out in these games and like how much you coach out of them and tell them to focus. It seems like the games were kind of scrapped before the end of the game. Well, I mean, it, it is a different venue. It's a different atmosphere. Uh, I don't know that the hype really gets caught up to you. It's just you get the nervous energy, and it takes you a little while to get it out of you. And I think that just kind of goes with, goes with being in that spotlight for the first time because obviously we've never been there. And, you know, hopefully we'll get a chance to do it again. But, you know, the, the setting will be a little different. We'll come. Fourth down play, I thought that was huge at the end of the game. What would you, look, what'd you look for there? What'd you get? Uh, that's the way we play. I mean, anybody that's watched us play all year knows that we use four downs to try to get 10 yards, and we've been successful at it. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't make it that time. Uh, most of the year we have. I mean, we go for it most of the time, don't we? Then we get four than one, four than two, and uh, we you know, put in the delay on the kick to draw the kid off sides because we've done it three or four times, and it worked. And we tell you know, it's exactly what we worked on, and we just it just didn't work out for us right there. I'm not telling you anything that you don't know, but I mean, the, the fourth down play, maybe the turnover at the end of the first half, yeah. those are always big plays that it can really change the outlook of the game. They can, and I, I thought the turnover at the half was, and and the one we didn't get after we didn't get the fourth down, when we hit the kid and he fumbles and it's flying through the air, and we got a chance to jump on it to grab it, and we don't get it. You know, that puts us right there again. Uh, I think that was big. You, you don't see it as, as you go through because you didn't get, get the turnover. And then it was 14-6, and uh, I think that was really a, uh, I hate to say a backbreaker, but I mean, it was really a big turning point in the game right before half. When, when you looked at the tape of St. Paul's and you saw them out there, I mean, were, were they even more impressive there in person than anything you saw on tape? I mean, they're a good football team. Man. It's like I said last week, I mean, they're number one for a reason. I think they're really good up front. Uh, I think the big kid said it too. And I'll tell you one, probably the best blocker he got is for center. I mean, that kid can really play. And uh, obviously, number two is good. And they have different weapons. You know, they can hit you in a lot of different ways. So, you know, I knew that we knew they were going to be good. And, and they were. Question of players. Do you want today to tell you guys about the way you thought they would or they knew anything in Back. I know I have this one coming back to run behind it. Uh, you know, 
defensively, we've got some holes to fill. Uh, but, you know, we've got some kids that uh, can play. And I think that we gained a lot of valuable experience this year with our kids. Because a lot of those kids, like we've said, we look out there week two and week three, and I got eight kids on defense playing the second, third varsity game. And now they play 15, so I think it's a, it's a little different animal with those kids coming back. Other questions? Jim, what do you hope every member of your team leaves Auburn takes the state even knowing after the 2014 season? Knowing that, uh, just like we talked about at halftime, uh, we've said this for a long time. We all got. I got your back. I got your back. We want to build that family and the brotherhood, and that's what we have really, and I really I hate to be cliche about it, but I really think that this group of kids, that this group of seniors, really has bought into that, that team concept and what they are in it for each other. And I really think that's what they're all going to remember. They're all going to remember being here, obviously. But I think as you go forward in life, you know, I think you're going to know that that's that special bond that you get playing with those guys, working, 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 is something you can't get anywhere else. Other questions? Coach, congratulations. Great season. Thank you. See you all next year.